Hey guys, watch Volgor's beer reviews once again. And I turned off the, the lights and turned on the the little LED that's built into my camcorder because after my dad replaced the fluorescent bulbs in his garage, all I got is glare. I could have sat on that side, but I have everything kind of set up to sit right here. It's kind of penny ass. But I think you can see me well enough, and I have that light going, so it's not just like total dark and just this beaming on me. I also have TV going. But anyways, to the beer review. I hope it's still cold, and I hope it's cold enough. I only got one. This is Lawnmower Lager. Uh, Caldera. Caldera? Brewed in Ashland, Oregon. I think this was 6.39 a six pack, but at Fred Meyer, you can buy and break up six packs. Awesome. Because I don't really feel like uh, devoting six dollars, first of all, if I don't have enough to devote six dollars just th just, just six beers, actually that's a good deal for six thirty nine. But let's say it's ten dollars for a six pack, which most of them are that are like this, then you're spending, then, you know, ten dollars for six beers, that's, you don't get very, very many beer for, for the price. I mean, when you're used to uh, you know, cheap beer, you know, it doesn't, it's, it doesn't matter what it tastes like, you just want something alcoholic to drink. And I know that sounds very, that doesn't sound very good, you know, it sounds like an alcoholic, like, I don't care what's in it, I just want something that's alcoholic, goes down my throat, and yeah, well, here we go. Point is, I want to try out one, if I like it, I will get more, okay, I shouldn't need, I don't need to be devoted to a six pack. Or six pack's one thing, but a 12 pack, that, that really chops my ass. When you, you don't even sell a six pack, I get a 12 pack. Or, or a 30 pack, with, like with Milwaukee. Milwaukee's best. Then you have to get 30 or nothing. Um, I brought a glass in. This is my brand new glass, got Goodwill. It says, yeah, you can see it's a super glass. So I'm like, oh my god, I had to have it. Um, it was from a craft. Craft Beer, or Craft Brew Festival, 2011. So, let's pour this beer. It smells pretty hoppy, it smells good, I like it. I know the glass isn't frozen, but whatever. I just thought I'd get over his time. Yeah, and if, if it says lawnmower on it, I'm interested. I, I'm an appliance nut. I, I, I like lawnmowers, vacuum cleaners, toasters. You know, I watched Brave Little Toaster when I was little. So, except there was no lawnmowers in the movie. There should have been. All right, so here you go. And I like having the LED because you can really see all the what's in that glass. It's very thin. Um, what's the ABV on this? Probably not very much. Oh, th whoa, three point nine. Wow. Well, it's craft beer, so it's got to taste better than Coors Light or Butt Light. Um, there's a different picture on on, the, on there. <laughs> Damn mosquito. That's what it looks like on uh, Beer Advocate. The Beer Advocate gives it 74, okay. The Bros give it 90, outstanding. Wow, that's a big split. And the average review, which I'm starting to not even care about the, the average the submitted review. 3.14. It seems like no matter what it is, anything from Budweiser to Sierra Nevada, well, I, maybe that's better. I don't know, but whatever. Usually, it's three point something. So yeah, I just kind of said I'm, I'm caring more about the Beer Advocate and the Bros numbers than the average Joe review. -o. Anyways, so there's the poor soapy, um, fluffy head. Um, and the pour is clear, it's got lots of bubbles. It smells mild, but a little hoppy. But also, it smells like it'd be very smooth. So let's see how that goes. It is pretty good. Um, there's a little bit of the hop nut at the end. Um, this isn't this isn't overwhelming. This isn't like really bloaty, and as you could tell by looking at it, by how clear it is, and by ABV of 3.9, you 
you know, you can you can kind of expect that it's not going to be really hoppy and really, uh, you know, filling like a like a IPA or something like that would be. But um, it's pretty good. This is perfect for like if like it says on the on the can for a perfect lawnmower beer. Um, you know, if you're mowing your lawn or whatever, getting hot and sweaty of working, doing manual labor for hours, whatever, and you're thirsty, you don't want something that's going to clog you up and get you bloaty and, at least it does for me, uh, you don't want to have something really, you know, full and, and, uh, you know, get you sleepy, you know what I mean? You want something light and refreshing. Um, I, I was watching this one guy on YouTube, he said, I don't, I don't drink any, uh, domestic, or not domestic, what do you call it, uh, you know, big beers, like Miller, Coors, whatever, Bush, and, uh, I, all I drink is, is craft beer, and I, it's like, not everybody can, can get that, not, and most importantly, I mean, to me, it's like, well, a lot of people don't even care, they just want beer. And they don't want the newer experience. And I was I seen that in a in a documentary on YouTube. It's like, yeah, I don't know. A lot of people they they, they care and they they like it. And there's there's other side of people that they don't care. They, I mean, if you give them a beer like this and you and they drink it, they'll be like, well, that tastes kind of weird. But I want my bud back. I want my bud back. You know, just give me that crap. <laughs> yeah. I don't. But. I'm not like that. Like that. I'm 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 real in the middle, but when you know uh, money gets tight, then I'd rather have a, a 12 pack or whatever. I'd rather have more of a cheap beer rather than just like a six pack of something cheaper. Anyways, I don't know why I had to say that, but it just kind of irritates me when I see craft food, craft. Beer drinkers always talk about how, you know, support the support the little guy, you know, just buy craft beer and support your local breweries and whatnot. Well, when you buy, a, I don't know, anything at a, at a convenience store, you're supporting them. I don't know, maybe not so much if it's a, I don't know. Anyways, the beer, I got, I got, I gotta, I gotta make this video at least ten minutes, right? So yeah, basically, it's light and refreshing. It reminds me kind of like a blue moon or a shock top, but not not as sweet and not as yeah. It's pretty much just not as sweet. I mean, it's and apparently, I guess not as much ABV because I think shock top is 4.9 or 5.2 or something like that. Something weird. But yeah, I recommend it. Um, is this a 10? No. I probably wouldn't give it a 9 or an 8 either. This is probably like a, a 7.8, 7.9. It is it is pretty good, but it's on the fence to be an 8. It is really close, but with an ABV of only 4, um, I don't know. Sometimes I, I care about the ABV and sometimes I don't. But then again, you know, when it's only 4%, I feel like you have to get two beers. It's like you have to drink two beers to equal one beer almost. Not quite. It's more like uh, half a beer. I mean, it's only it's only lower by a, uh, uh, half of a percentage. So it's not really a big deal. But I can, you know, it is kind of low. I, I do. This is just total nitpick. But I do kind of wish instead of a 3.94, it is. I wish it was more like 4.5 or 4.7. But that's the whole point. It's supposed to be a lawn more beer because you can drink a bunch of them without getting wasted or or whatever. You know, that's that's the idea behind a lawn more beer, but to me a lawn more beer isn't really the, the the number of the ABV. It's just the thin and crisp refreshing taste. Like one lawn more beer I I would I would drink. I have, 
a couple of them. One's Rainier, and it's it's not craft beer by any means, but it's cheap. You can get uh, 18 pack for 13 bucks. A lot of gas stations sell for that much too, so that's cheap. Um, another one is uh, Milwaukee's Best Ice, and that I know you have to have acquired taste because a lot of people say it tastes like you know garbage or whatever. But for me, I mean, it's got uh, 5.9 ABV. It's five bucks for a six pack. I mean, it's it's cheap. It, I know you're gonna you're gonna say it's cheap garbage beer, but for me, to me, it's it's not it's not terrible. It's it's okay. But anyways, that's enough of other beers. This. Next time I get money or whatnot, and I, I want to, you know, get it, I'll definitely, you know, I'll now know. Yeah, I'm more lager. All right, but, you know, there's other better beers out there, but for being a crisp, refreshing beer, like something for on a super hot day, um, maybe we're going on the beach or hiking or something, something on a day it's going to be hot and sweaty or whatever, then that's a good choice. So, yeah, I give it a... Well, seven nine seems a little low, so I, I uh, a low a low eight. So yeah, thanks for watching Volgora's beer reviews. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Have you ever had uh, a beer that actually says lawnmower beer, lawnmower lager on it? And other besides that, what do you call your lawnmower beer? You know, Rolling Rock. Um, I'm sure more than one, I'm sure somebody out there would say, uh, Coors, I'm sure, I mean, it, you know, in the world of, of, in the, in the world of America, <laughs> duh, and, uh, you know, in America where the, the Bud, Miller, Coors, Bush is like main, main, the mainstream where everybody buys, you know, and, uh, the craft is like the little stuff that, isn't you know because there's so much of them but it's like it's not the one you know but i don't judge if what if you drink whatever light beer or paps paps a good one um but i'm just curious if you watch this video let me know what you drink when you like to do something manly and sweaty and get some sweat in your eye goodbye